my son is done for his nap and I'm about to make myself some breakfast. But you guys, breakfast at Tada! <laughs> Almost half past 12, but I'm just gonna make myself some breakfast. Um, I think I'll just come here and introduce this vlog since I've already talked to you guys since this vlog started. <laughs> guys i'm starting to feel like myself again um mentally physically i feel great the healing journey has been great um so far it could be better but obviously things take time and i know there was gonna be a lot of compromises when it comes to my lifestyle because obviously life with a newborn is not gonna be the same just think from a family of three to four that's also a journey to honestly dive into slowly and i'm just so grateful that uh god has given me the grace to embrace this journey this time around differently and i'm enjoying it so i'm going to be stocking up on my night items that i usually need in here i have another version of this in a basket or a candy style in the living room i have one here and in the living room because that's where i spend most of my time and i don't want to be getting up every time i have to change his diaper or i need a wipe i need this you know so i just love how this one here the one in the bedroom how minimal it is i actually just hide it behind his basket you don't have to see what's going on and it keeps my room very minimal here we have diapers powder rush cream i have a backup over here then we have a disinfectant we have tissue breast um wipes <laughs> breast pads and a book that i haven't started reading yet and voila we're done that's all guys i just put it behind here his bassinet and yeah i'm just able to reach whenever i need then I, in here i have my vitamins um, if you've been keeping up with my pregnancy diaries you can see that your girl was going through it when it comes to the skin you guys i was depressed with my skin every single day i was waking up to a full face of new acne every single day like it was crazy i was buying a bunch of products to help but it wasn't helping just because it was a hormonal issue so there's nothing i could do and now that the baby's out we can see the change that's one thing i want to plug you guys on and people swear with this one and now i've joined the squad run if you're struggling with your skin i'm telling you run and grab glycolic acid uh from the ordinary if you can it doesn't have to be the ordinary <laughs> uh, it can be from any other brand as long as it's that toner the glycolic acid you guys it has changed my skin for better literally i'm telling you so i had to actually grab more products like um uh, the moisturizer the vitamin c the serum because if just one 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 product was doing amazingly like that on my skin i could just imagine what these others could do and i'm seeing the change and i also hope that you guys can see it because if you cannot see the change you're a hater you're a hater if it's your first time here go watch my pregnancy vlogs and you'll see i was completely a different person Hey loves, it's the next day. My little man won't let me eat in peace. He just wants to nap in my arms. So I guess we just do the contact nap. <laughs> I think I should have gotten a, um, a spoon because it's easier to eat with a spoon like this, holding him. Otherwise, he might end up also eating because I feel like I'm going to be spilling. Actually eating eggplant, rice and eggs. <laughs> ah, the combination, I know. Mm. you guys when you're pregnant you cannot eat this you cannot drink that you cannot do a b c d because it's not good for the growing fetus you think when the baby gets here things will get better uh-uh no no things get worse <laughs> well for me they have gotten worse when it comes to food because even the healthier foods that they were recommending i eat because it's good for me and the growing baby the fetus it's not not good because it upsets his stomach the healthier foods the vegetables <laughs> i cannot eat those right now because oh they upset his stomach you guys i can't even have a salad 
Like I can't, I like to spice my foods. I cannot spice my foods anymore, you know? And <laughs> you guys send help, send help. Okay. But yeah, guys, that's the thing. Um, he's been having stomach problems. Uh, my midwife just asked me what I was eating. And like, I told her the things I was eating. She said, ha, you've got to cut this out, cut that up, cut eat this, cut drink that. I'm like, okay, I want to make some chapatis. I think I'll make some chapatis tomorrow. I've been craving goat's meat in chapati, you guys. <laughs> but uh, I can I have flour. I can make chapati, but I don't have goat's meat. Um, and where I can get goat's meat is a bit far from here. So I'm gonna talk to one of my girlfriends and see if she can get me some. Actually, if she can get me goat's meat and liver, that would be great. Will you accept to go in your bus next? 